Left-handed pitcher Shota Imanaga is off the table for the Dodgers as he reportedly agrees to a multi-year deal with the Chicago Cubs, just like I kind of predicted a few weeks ago on All Dodgers Live. Uh, we'll talk about how this affects the team if it affects the team at all and what they could do moving forward on this uh, super quick version, trying something new, trying something different, a super quick version of the All Dodgers podcast. First, my name is Clint Basia. As you can find me as Real FRG and all the social media things. If you're on this channel, give it a thumbs up. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you can also subscribe while you're here, that helps me out immensely. Uh, let's dive in super quick to the Shota Imanaga. Um, it's still hot off of the presses, by the way, the, the Shota Imanaga news or the rumor, really, the report that he has signed with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, it's a, a deal, multi-year deal, somewhere in the neighborhood of $15 million annually. That's all we have at this point. Does not matter. He's not going to be a Dodger. Um, I believe that the team is fine not committing long term to another pitcher because there are a bunch of guys kind of waiting in the wings right now with uh, some names we'll mention in a little bit. Uh, but also, if you're looking ahead at 2025, you know, Shohei Tana is going to be back starting in, and in the, the rotation. Uh, Roki Sasaki could be a Los Angeles Dodger by the time 2025 rolls around. So, do they still need help in the starting rotation? For sure. A lefty, that would be ideal. Um, a couple names that we've kind of talked about in the past on the channel. We look at Hunjin Ryu. Uh, I think that's a deal that makes a lot of sense uh, As a, uh, if you miss out on Imanaga, even though the Dodgers weren't really in the Imanaga sweepstakes uh, by all most recent reporting. If you still want somebody, a uh, reunion, mostly because I want that thing to hit. A Hunjin reunion would make some sense in some ways. Uh, you're not expecting a whole lot out of him. You're not expecting more than 15 or 20 starts as your number five guy at some point in time. You know, you need to leave room for a future Hall of Famer. We'll talk about him in a second. But another name, another old friend, familiar face, Dodgers World Series champion, Alex Wood. He's a free agent. He has about zero market publicly that we've heard this offseason. If they're looking to fill some innings, that's a name that does make some sense, and you know what? It fills a role or it fills a need for somebody who's left-handed and could uh, could have some success in the bullpen, which we've seen him do. He was very important to this team during that 2020 run, uh, 2020 World Series run. This team, it's, it's kind of clear, though, that now after the Teoscar Hernandez signing, they're not operating at the top of the market anymore. They weren't really operating at the top of the free agent market and pitching after Yamamoto. Um, there's another guy on the list who's on the free agent list that, that's still a no, who's Probably going to open the season suspended, but uh, news on Julio Urias today. It dropped on the X that Julio will not be facing uh, felony charges for his uh, domestic uh, or alleged domestic violence arrest from last September. Uh, it will be reviewed as a potential misdemeanor filing. Look that up if you want the full news about Julio online, but uh, really it just means there's still more legal tape he needs to go through. There's still going to be more legal proceedings he needs to go through. And, hey, after all of that, he still needs to face Major League Baseball and the potential for him being suspended for a second time under the uh, MLB MLBPA joint domestic violence policy. So one note on that, considering how quickly the Dodgers distanced themselves from Julio after the incident came out, you know, my gut kind of tells me, hey, they, they probably had an idea of, of what happened. They didn't like what happened, and they wanted to wash themselves as clean and as quickly as they could of the situation. So I feel whenever it may happen, there is zero chance of Julio Urias ever returning to the Dodgers. One guy, and I feel terrible mentioning it even in the same breath, one guy who has a very strong likelihood of re-signing with the Dodgers is Clayton Kershaw. So I was talking about Ryu, talking about Wood. Now we talk about Kershaw. Yes, there is still room for Clayton Edward Kershaw to rejoin this team, but uh, I don't think anything happens, and I've mentioned this already on the channel a bunch. I don't think anything happens until at least the start of spring training. The 60-day injured list needs to open. The Dodgers have no roster spots as we sit here right now. If we're talking about, again, the top of the market uh, when it comes to MLB free agency, they the Dodgers don't seem to be in the Jordan Montgomery hunt. Uh, I would not be surprised to see this team either swing a big trade. It's definitely a possibility. Also wouldn't be surprised to see them stand pat with what they have. With guys like uh, Emmett Sheehan, who's going to get a lot of time. Uh, Nick Frasso, who we heard a lot about last year. Uh, Gavin Stone, who 
got who made his major league debut, got some opportunities, but struggled, but is in a much better headspace. You would hope, knock on desk, you would hope going into 2024. Landon Knack is an option. Uh, and there's other guys at the lower ranks of the minor leagues. So, hey, Shota Imanaga is a Cub. It's the first time the Cubs have spent any money this offseason on somebody that was not a manager when they fired a perfectly good manager in David Ross. But there's your news of the day. A super quick hitter. Wanted to try something different. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this at all, even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Jump into the comments below. What do you think the Dodgers should do? Uh, do you wish they would have gone more in on Imanaga at only $15 million a year? I want to hear your guys' thoughts uh, down below. I am Clint Pasillas. Again, find me as Real FRG on all the social medias, including this YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next one.